So somewhere out there, there are people saying that men cannot communicate. Well, if that is true, then we certainly as men need help in the area of prayer. Because prayer is all about communication. It's all about communicating with our Father, with God. It's taking out time to speak to our Heavenly Father. And even more, it's time that we dedicate to hanging out with Him. Uh, I love my mornings because part of my morning uh, discipline is to get up bright and early and just sit in his presence. It's almost like I'm sitting uh, at his feet on some days on his lap, some days I'm hunched over and, you know, crying my eyes out because of how rich and how uh, unworthy I feel at times just being in his presence. And it's those times where I can sit and speak to my heavenly father and at the same time hear him speak to me is where I really feel like a child of the king. A king that is willing to allow me into his most inner circle. You know, it's, it's not where I need to ask permission because that's what Jesus did when he died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he ascended and is sitting at the right hand of the father Everything that Jesus did that implied it is finished gives you and I access to actually do this whenever we want. We have access and the Bible says that we can come to his throne of grace with boldness. It's not an attitude. It's not entitlement to say, hey, God, I need this and I need that. And we have a whole list of things that he has to do for us. No, it's an attitude of humility of worship, of recognition and acknowledging that this is God. This is the King of Kings. This is the Lord of Lords. This is my heavenly father. And I get to come to him. And he always has open arms. And in that coming to him, there's an opportunity for dialogue, not monologue. See, prayer is not this thing where I rip out all of this, this long list of things that I have you know, uh, honey to do list type thing. Well, Father, and I pray for this, and Father, and I ask you this, and and Lord, and I, those 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 days are over. We need to come to the place of understanding that it is a dialogue. That as I speak to my heavenly Father, first with an attitude of praise, that I acknowledge who He is. Jesus gave us the the the, the layout. He says, "Pray like this: Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be Thy name." That's praise. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's acknowledging that whatever we're looking for is actually in him, that he designed it, that purpose that we've uh, talked about. All of that has to do with the heart of God. And the only way we can get what we're looking for is in his heart. And so we tap into that by acknowledging that he's the one that has the answer. So we come with an attitude of praise. And then he continues to say, Jesus is, saying, then you ask for these things, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. He gives us the script and part of that script, we pause and then he actually downloads. God actually speaks to us and he tells us exactly what we need. In fact, in the Old Testament, when Moses was uh, in front of the burning bush. You remember when, when God first revealed himself to Moses, Moses, I mean, he, he must have been tripping. Like, what is going on? This bush is on fire, but it's, it's not. It, it, I mean, it, it would not be consumed, which for me is, is, is mind blowing. So I don't know if I was Moses, I probably would have ran. But God obviously knows what he's doing and how he chooses to reveal what he reveals to the, the different individuals. He's just great at it, he's sovereign. Moses stuck it out and then God speaks to Moses. And when he finishes telling Moses all the things that he wanted him to do in his name, Moses says, well, who, who do I say sent me? And God is like, you just say, I am sent you. And that I am statement is still true today. That I am statement, you know what it means? 
It means God is telling you, when we come in prayer and when we come and we sit at his feet, we sit at his throne, he's saying, I am what you need me to be. I am your healer. I am your deliverer. I am your restorer. I am grace. I am love. I am everything that you need me to be. And we can only experience that in prayer. It's that quiet time that we dedicate to just him and you, where you sit at his feet and you're reminded of what he can do that he is not only capable of doing, but he's willing to do by downloading it into your spirit. Remember, it is not a means to coerce God into doing what we want. He is who he is, regardless of whether we believe it or not, or whether we tap into it or not. He is who he is. But just because we're praying doesn't justify our sense of twisting his arm to give us what we want. No, God is not into that. He cannot be coerced. In fact, there are times that we may be praying for something and our situation does not change. But guess what? Every single time we pray is an opportunity for us to change regardless of whether the circumstance changes. We can change, our hearts can change, our perspective can change. And we leave God's presence per se, because we really never do. But if we were to use prayer as a significant time that we spend in his presence, we leave that scenario refilled, rejuvenated, refreshed, restored, and just with fresh perspective of who God says he is. He says to you, he says to me, I am what you need me to be. So I encourage you, legacy minded man, be strong in prayer because that's where you get the refreshing and the refueling that you need to be the man that God has called you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.